Greetings, pilots and passengers. Today we're back with the third episode of the Dare to Talk podcast with my wonderful guest, as usual, who is a fid. Do you want to say hello? Good morning and welcome to any non-conformists that happen to be watching as well. You are most, most welcome. Uh, and I encourage non-conformism in all its forms. Yes, it's wonderful to have you all back with us. Today, we don't really have a plan on what we're going to talk about. We're just going to go with the flow. That's and it. We're going to blether away, uh, not give a monkey's left testicle what we say or think, uh, and hope you all enjoy it. Exactly. So, do you want to kick us off with, because we've got a guest coming up, haven't we? And yeah, and yeah. It's a guy I follow on Twitter, and he follows me, and his name's Pat Walsh. Uh, and I had a good chat with him yesterday on the blower for 40 minutes. Lovely bloke, absolutely lovely guy who's, who's been through a bit of the ringer throughout his life. Um, he's, 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 a, he's, he's very spiritual as well. Um, he's on the same page as us, uh, and he just wants to make people's lives that little bit better. And so he's agreed to come on on uh, the Sunday recording that we're doing uh, in, a, in a couple of days' time. And I'm really looking forward to talking with him. He's such a nice guy. Such a nice guy. And if you are of a mind to follow him, I can't remember. He's got Pat Walsh. Uh, he's got some numbers after his, his name. But if you're a mind to follow him, give him a follow on Twitter. His bio is a picture of him in a suit. Um, and it says, just up for life is what he's yes. written on his bio. You'll it's the best him. way to be. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So give it, give, you know, have, look him up, say hello. Said, uh, who's afeard, said hello. And dare to fly, said hello. Uh, and we've been told to go and give you a follow because you're a, a blinding geezer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's a North Londoner, uh, and anybody that refers to me as mucker uh, when they talk to me, my old mucker, is someone I want to have a yap with. Yeah, it's, it's really great. It's really exciting to get people on. Mm. Um, it's going to be good because, I mean, I've seen some of Pat Walsh's tweets and just like you said just his bio that you know loving life that's it why well, can't more people love just love life even that's through it. times that feel a bit rubbish just got well there you it. go why, why don't we why don't we head along the route of um, manifestation as yeah. you think so shall you be what is it you want because you know uh, i don't want to get into this um you know it's all shit and we're all gonna die and all this crap and the vaccine stuff today uh, there's enough of that crap going on uh, and I'd like to help people get their heads around, um, you know, yeah. manifesting the things that they want because there is such good stuff coming um, and it's our, our, our duty to help people open their eyes just a little bit more and, and, and understand that uh, and realise that um, if you put some decent thoughts in place and some good thoughts in place, some bloody good things will come your way. So you, would you call that the law of attraction? Yes. Yes, I would. That's a great, great way of putting it. Yeah, the great way to say it. Um, I was on the telephone last night. I had a, um, and another lady we're going to get coming on as well. She's agreed to come on. Is a lady called Sarani Mkandawiri. She's a Malawian by descent. Uh, and uh, I'll give you a little bit of history about her as well, because she's very much of the same mindset. Um, her dad was the equivalent in Malawi of the chief medical officer here in the UK. And he served under a guy called Banda, President Banda. Uh, and if you know, and if you go and do some research on President Banda, you'll find out he was a special kind of uh, C word, uh, is all I can say. Um, and her dad would go to work each day, not knowing if he would return home that night. So that's the sort of you know, country that she yeah. was brought up in. Uh, and he always taught his daughter to, I never met the guy and, and sadly he died, I think it was two or three years ago. Uh, and I would love to have met him because he brought his daughter up with the mantra, question everything. And she said that to me back at, in a telephone call in 2000 that I had with her. And I remember it to this day. And I kind of stuck by that as much as I possibly can. So, you know, he would go to work with, uh, with colleagues uh, and they would go into their respective offices and he would come out of his office at the end of the day and some of his colleagues never came out again. So that's, you know, that's the sort of thing that uh, if you can come through that, you can come through anything. Absolutely anything. 
His yeah. name was Austin um, Austin Umkandawiri, uh, and he was Malawi's chief medical officer. Very well respected doctor in Malawi, uh, and so many people knew him and loved him. Uh, and uh, and I hope to get to uh, meet him when my time is up on this mortal coil, uh, and get to shake his hand and say thank you so much, uh, because your 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 advice to your daughter about question everything stuck by me and has helped me to see through see through think through for for the last twenty years of my time on this planet. So today, a bit about manifesting manifestation or the law of attraction. As you think, so shall you be. Uh, yeah. And that's kind of the conversation I had with Sarani last night on the telephone. Yeah, just that's one of the, the things in my personal experience. I think, I mean, people say, well, if you really want something, and my mum particularly, if I wanted, was going for a job, she would always say, mm. well, visualise yourself wearing the uniform and then you'll get it. So yeah. And also just before i mean even a few weeks ago months ago or so i used to be very like quite often get a bit negative about things and then i always found that because of that things would feel more negative just day to day mm. whereas now i just have a positive mindset and then i always find that actually more positive things actually happen in my day yeah so it, I, I the whole thing of law of attraction and having a manifestation i completely yeah. believe it because it is it's real it's just yeah. you know if you're going to be negative you'll attract negativity and vice versa yeah i mean uh, uh, you, we can also uh, what channels are you watching on youtube because I, I watch a lot of people that you know uh like to have a good time like to have a bit of fun uh, and are positive about the way they think about things and you know the stuff that the, they see going forward and I and I allow myself to be guided when I'm on YouTube looking for information or on Twitter um, sadly I've allowed myself to be not sadly that's a wrong choice of word this morning and last night I've allowed myself to, to be uh, guided by this grief that we've got coming out from the mainstream media at the moment um, and that is kind of like it, I, I allowed it to pull me down slightly and that's mm. not some place i'm happy to be in so uh you know i want to I'm, I'm changing that and i'm uh we were supposed to have a guest on this morning unfortunately the guest um couldn't make it at the last minute which is no problem whatsoever and you said shall we record anyway yes why not exactly because it gives us an opportunity to you know to in terms of the there. channels i watch mm. getting on that a uh, I watch, I mean, Michael Jaco is one of them. He's easy to mm. put on in the background and listen to. Yeah. Um, some of the others you suggested, I can't remember off the top of my head, but as well, Newsmax is one of them I watch. Yeah. Which is the, you know, conservative platform, news platform that I find... To be honest, they play. They put a lot of positive stuff in at the moment, yeah. which is quite a very Christmassy stuff as well. So that's nice. And then, other than that, I mean, it's usually Joe Rogan podcast on YouTube, and then yeah, good old Joe Rogan. Yes. Maybe a bit yeah. of like some of the carnival people I watch and just see what they're doing. It's just what they're rambling on about what they're doing the day. Mm. To be honest, it's just finding what out what other people are doing. Because yeah. most of the time I don't watch YouTube. I'm just busy doing something else. So it's just something in the background to listen to. Yeah. Um, what about you? What do you watch? Uh, well, you, you, you know, you've heard me rattle on about the Mark Atwood show, Adventures in a Meat Soup. Uh, I love Mark. I think he's, you know, he's there to, to he's got this outlook of, um, you know, look, good things are coming. And if they're not, we're all fucked anyway. So let's have a bloody good time <laughs> in, the mean, <laughs> in the meanwhile, in the meantime. So, yeah, let's not let's not panic about it. Uh, and he's had um, he's had a series of four videos on lately called the Abracadabra Code, where he is interviewing a couple that he's calling Juicy and Lucy. 
Uh, and these people are very spiritual. Uh, and, I, and I highly recommend people to go and listen to this. Even if you don't fully understand what's going on and what they're talking about, because uh, it, can, it, it, it can be a little bit overwhelming. But it's just the fact that the people that are having a good chat uh, are really enjoying themselves. And yes, they interrupt each other. Yes, they have a laugh and a joke. Um, but that's the whole point of it. They're really, really enjoying themselves. And I think that, you know, certainly uh, what we're doing, that's the way things are going to go, which is why you and I are looking for people to come on and, and have a chat and, uh, and encourage this way of moving forward. I think the online sphere is face to face is always good always better, always the, the best thing in the world. But uh, it's allowed people like you and I to, commu- to get together and communicate and doing what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, so that, yeah, Michael Jaco, definitely. He's, he's brilliant. Yeah, he's, he's Michael Jaco, if people don't know him, he, he's, um, was he ex, F, is it SEAL? Or FBI? He is an remember. ex-Navy SEAL, ex-CIA. Yeah, well, I, knew, I knew it was one uh, of them. Yeah. 24 and, years, uh, uh, yeah, combat uh, veteran. Yeah, he, he knows a lot of stuff, but also he's really spiritual. Yeah. And he goes on a lot about um, intuition and using your intuition. Yeah. Um, Another good one I've recently come across, hat tip to an account on Twitter, and I cannot remember her name for the life of me, uh, but she followed me and then mentioned uh, mentioned this, this guy, uh, Scott McKay uh, of the Tipping Point radio tip the, the tipping point radio uh, if you go and search him out uh this is a guy that's fired up he really is fired up uh, and i highly recommend people going to watch him uh because you know he's, he's brilliant i can sit and listen to the guy for hours and hours and hours and hours he just doesn't let anything get him down uh and his background uh and his experience and knowledge certainly of the Amer- the u.s political arena is is very very high uh, and very knowledgeable and I, I recommend that as well. Uh, if you're not getting the, the drift of what we're, where we're going with this, it's, it's all to encourage you to um, put the, the mindset in place that uh, where we're going, where, we, where the world is going is, is a great place. Uh, and it's not what, we, what a lot of people think it is. I think as well, people, a lot of people like to watch, what I've found is a lot of people like to watch the whole doom and gloomy stuff Mm. just because a lot of it is quite um just especially in terms like looking at in terms of like conspiracy theories or so-called conspiracy theories um people like to watch that sort of stuff and particularly negative stuff because it's Mm. just so out of this world and that if it was true it's unbelievable but at the same time i think some people in a i don't try to explain it in a some sort of weird way want some of these dark things to be true because then obviously it's exposes the corruption and i don't know it's hard to explain but i think people are in essence drawn to watching negative stuff because it's interesting in a way yeah. Do you, do you think that, that that's probably way, the way we've been programmed yeah. over, over many, many years yeah. by, by them, uh, you know, to, to do that? Yeah, I because think... It, because it reinforces that, that opinion on a continuous basis uh, and therefore keeps us in its place. Yeah. When I was at uni, we were told um, on our journalism course that the reason why the news covers so much like negative news is because people get bored of watching positive news so Mm. when you hear a story of people doing good things in society and good deeds and all that sort of thing people get bored about hearing it so whereas if you hear news about a, a terrorist attack or something someone died or was murdered and people would rather much hear that sort of thing because it's more interesting and i think part of that is because that's all they see all day yeah. which is a shame because so do, do just you want think, to hear positive stuff yeah do you think then if that was flipped uh and you know it was non-stop positive if you like that was fired at us that we would have the same opinion as well? Or do you think that we'd always go to look for the negative? 
Um, I think it's a tricky one because it's been so ingrained in people for such a long time. I, it's yep. a difficult thing, but as diff as nice as it would be, in my opinion, to have a a news channel that was mainstream that would only show positive news, which I personally think that would be a really awesome thing. Yeah, it's still necessary to hear both. Yeah, but I think we hear way too much of the negative stuff then we do the positive there needs to be a balance yeah i i definitely f feel like when Keep i the car horn outside there <laughs> when i watch when i sort of read and watch positive news i do feel a lot better especially yeah. if it's some someone's done something quite inspirational because i think that gives people a sense of i can do that and that mm. there's also hope in the world sort of thing versus watching something negative and hearing about something that gets a point where you just think it makes you think that the world is just bad when it, when it isn't so it's not yeah it's we not. there needs it's, to be it's a bad balance because, yeah it's bad because uh it, this is my opinion it's bad because um they need to create you know, and, and as always, they is in those kill brackets and we know who they are. Uh, they need to uh, create that to uh, keep us in a particular place uh, and thinking in a particular way. Uh, and, and, and I just think that, uh, you know, that that's going to come to an end. That's going to stop. Uh, and it's because we're not we're not naturally a warring species. Um, in my in my opinion, I don't think we're a warring species. I think that you know we are we are a peaceful species, uh, uh, but we are influenced and we can be trained, and that goes for any particular species. I mean, you've heard the the elephant example. I've seen it a lot quoted recently. Uh, if you take uh, an elephant from from birth uh, and you put a wooden peg in the ground and tie the elephant on a length of rope. Uh, it will get used to over its line, uh, over its line, over its lifetime, being on that the end of that piece of rope attached to that peg in the in the ground. Uh, and if you remove the peg and the rope, it still won't go any further than the length of the rope that it's been conditioned and trained to. You know, that's 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 where it will go because it's been it's 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 had that influence for all its life. Uh, and and I think the human species is uh, is just as susceptible. Uh, if not more susceptible, yeah. given the, uh, because we think well, we're the most intelligent species on the planet. No, are we? Uh, <laughs> are we really? Yeah, I, <laughs> let's, I, I, let's, I, let's apply a little bit of it then and, and actually yeah, turn this around. I think the world is, isn't is bad. I mean, if all of humans disappeared from the earth, the world would keep going on with ours. So it's not the world that is bad it's just that there are a select few yeah on earth who are bad yeah and even and even you know all of the experiences in this world i think that i mean there's people who do evil things and things that no normal human being would ever do mm. but at the same time I definitely think a lot of these experiences people have is part of their sort of learning lesson in life. Sure. Yeah. Not that I condone any of it, because I, I, of course I don't condone killing no, someone no, 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 or whatever, not. but no. in my opinion, I think we live these lives for a reason. And yeah. I, I mean, I've said that before, but yeah, I think the world isn't bad. There's just a select few who are. And yeah those select few who are, are you know, unfortunately very powerful people. But mm. that doesn't mean that the world is bad. It's no. just people need to realise that they are bigger than them, essentially. Yes. So. Very wise, very wise. Because this is not just going on in this realm, is it? You know, no, from your point of view. No, we, I mean, we talked going... about that in the last episode about the yeah. spirit warfare is as above so below yeah in that sense it's it's both sides so this this whole battle going on is both sides um in the spiritual world and on he and here and 
it, you know, nothing, everything we think we know, I th- especially for me, everything I thought I sort of knew about spirituality and the spirit world has come into question a few times because of it, because it's not what we think it is. It's not the stereotypical once you die, you go upstairs and you're floating around and it's all <laughs> lovely and, you know, yeah. rainbows and sunshine. Yeah. And it's nothing like that at all. They basically live lives exactly like us Mm. and they have their own spiritual council which um they've they've told us about a couple of times that if you think of like the galactic council the galactic federation of you know aliens and things like that yeah spiritual council is a lot like it yeah. In terms of it's got a select few who are, they ca- I think that they ca- sort of call themselves watchers, if I remember rightly. I'll have to look through my book again, but they call themselves watchers and there's the very ancient, very, very ancient. Yeah. Like, as you know, so if, if you were to put it in, in a time frame as like, or as old as time itself and all that, but they sort of watch over the universe and dimensions and all of time and spirit and all that sort of thing. But they're very sort of, I don't want to say corrupt, mm. but they're very traditional in their ways as in they've been in a certain trajectory and had a certain way of thinking forever. And if anything was to question that, they wouldn't exactly be very lenient in changing their way of thinking. So that's something I learned in terms of looking at, you know, in, in spirit, people would assume that spirit is essentially can be between good and evil, that there's mm. the spiritual warfare when the good side even has its problems because they are still people and they still have differences. So there is, tensions within that group as well um because the the spiritual council they're you know they're they're, they're like the government of what goes on over there essentially on 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 all sides but it's 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 it definitely made me think a bit more about what the world is like over there because it is basically just like our world yeah, I mean, so ba- yeah, it's, 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 it's something was said to me the other day that that you know their time on this this realm is coming to an end. So you know, all this fight back that we're getting at the moment with with all that's going on currently is is just them throwing their toys out of the pram, uh, uh, you know, and having a last ditch attempt to try and turn it around, which is failing miserably. Yeah. Um, and something was said to me the other day about about you know uh, that that their time is coming to an end, and I and I thought to myself, and it's a thousand years of peace that's coming, and so my immediate question raised for that was so so is there is the, you know is the creator or the god or whatever you want to refer to it him her as um, does this is this allowed to happen you know the good side gets a crack at it then the bad side gets a crack at it then the good side gets a crack and so is this going on on a regular basis that's that's the thing i want to know uh, yeah you know, i've just... heard i've heard similar things like you mm. with that i'm sure i'm sure our our friend in um, our chat has mentioned that quite a few times that it's like yeah. an actual sort of cycle that happens every thousands of years and it has to happen is like some like no one is when i say the word reset now i don't mean the great reset i mean into yeah. the world reset in itself naturally with yeah. the balance of things yeah well um, the great reset is a big pile of bullshit you know it's a, well it's, it's not, a plan but plans you know plan. yeah. always go to plan essentially yeah. but yeah where did you hear f- about that the uh, uh, but i th- I'm pretty sure it was a conversation with with Sarani uh, where she mentioned that because you know uh, she she had that either come to her in a dream or uh, someone she was talking to. I, I'm not entirely sure. My memory is not that great on that side of things, but I guess it's something that we could have a chat with her about when, yeah, she, when she comes on. 
Because I remember hearing, um, I know our friend has said, I remember speaking to my, our friend about it and he's brought it up multiple times. Mm. And I've also um, read it, I've read it a few times somewhere, one of which was, to, it was more to do with the New World Order aspect as that the New World Order sort of started in the age of Taurus which was, I think, from the time it was set to be a thousand years, mm. sort of time bracket length or whatever, and that once they achieve that, there'll be a new age and it'll be the new world order sort of thing. And I, th- and I think it ties in with the spiritual aspect of it as well. Right. But, yeah, I've, I've heard that before in terms of, you have so, so, so many thousand years of this then there's like a big to do and a big reset of the world and then it all builds back up again and then there's something else so is this just some dude sat somewhere up on high or whatever who who you know <laughs> who's put all this together gets bored every several thousand years and go right now it's your <laughs> turn <laughs> let's see what the outcome is <laughs> Because this is this seems to be the way it's go way it's going, and I'm like, you know, well, fuck yeah. off, you twat, because you're pissing me off. With you. This is a, you know all this is all about. Uh, yeah, uh, it, is there a learning experience that we're eventually getting to? Because this, if this, this, from what I'm I'm gathering, and I could be completely wrong, this seems to be an ongoing process. Well, I don't think. And I'll ask, I want to ask you, right, before I sort of go into what I think, do you, yeah. when people talk about God, because I, I, inferring that from what you said about there's a guy sat there doing all this stuff, some would say that that would be a God. How, do you believe in God or how, how would you sort of look at that? Okay, I can only go on what I have learnt. Um, as to, as to whether I can say I believe it is is a, is probably a separate thing. Yeah. Uh, I can I can put in place a belief of a description because of what I've learned over the last nine months or so, uh, and obviously talking with you. Uh, I now, uh, whereas I used to be concerned about um, you know dying and that, now I'm not. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. rather looking forward to it because I know <laughs> this is just. This is just, uh, and no, I'm not suicidal. Uh, and this is just, uh, you know, a, a particular part of my existence. Uh, and uh, I'm here for a certain period of time, and then I will be off on to the next adventure. And that's what I'm looking forward to. So that's kind of what my understanding is. Um, is there, a, is there a God? I don't know if I, you could refer him to God. All right, if you're looking in the traditional sense, from uh, attending church on a Sunday morning point of view. Uh, no, I don't believe there is a God. Yeah. Is there a creator or uh, 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 something that has put this universe together? Yeah, I think there is. Yeah. Yes, I think there is. Yes. My sort of take on that is similar. I have I mean, I went to a Church of England secondary school um, where we were forced to sort of you know sit through... Uh, I can't even remember what they're called, to be honest. Half time wasn't really listening, but <laughs> assemblies to do with God or whatever. I can't remember. But, yeah, we're sort of told that God is this wonderful being who is physical. I mean, we were shown pictures and he was, you know, all beautiful, flowing hair and muscular big and beard. big yeah. beard and all that. Yeah. I think that if you want to label it God, I would say it's more of an energy that yeah. we're all, that like Star Wars is in everything, that yes. is the force is in everything. I think this God energy we come from and that because it's in everything, we're all related. What well, Same with the animals and all that. We all originate from the same energy source so that, when we are born and come down 
our souls are still have that energy source so that when we die we just go back up to it yeah and return there so i i see it more as like an energy and or as you like to say like a creative force yes that's that's the way i'm seeing it now that's the way i'm seeing it now maybe people watching this going hang on a minute you started this video off uh saying you were going to talk about manifestation and, and you know and how you manifest things that you want um, the, the, and i would and i would i would counter uh, argue uh, if you're asking that question that um this is you know asking these questions helps you to understand yeah. hopefully where you come from uh and uh, and i think manifestation is use utilizing that energy that we have within us yeah. so it's all interlinked because manifestation and law of attraction is is us in essence asking the universe and if you sort of see when i sort of refer to the universe and i, I do my mum does the same she always says oh i've been asking the universe for this and that it's like well when we say that i always see it as asking the creative energy and the cr creator so to speak that yeah. watches over for, watches over us because it it does listen you just have and when you put out these attract attractive vibes and positive energy mm. of, i want this i'm going to have this and you keep saying it and you keep believing it you manifest it and that's because you are like tapping into the force like a jedi yeah. and and yeah. being one with it essentially yeah. so it yeah it all ties up you you're right so you know the, i started this morning uh, ended last night or you know with the, or I was on the phone with sarani for four hours uh and and twittering in between and twittering this morning uh, and let my frustration levels uh probably get a little bit the better of me with regard to you know what's what's happening at the moment but you know and, and the the guy postponed or, or I put back this morning uh, and then you said should we just record anyway and i thought yes let's do that because um it will help me I, I want to manifest a better mood going into the day and that has just that succeeded that's what yeah. that's exactly that's what i'm after and doing this has helped me to do that so you know if you're looking for an example people of 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 how you manifest want to manifest how you put together a manifestation or what you want to manifest this is a prime example of yeah i think i wanted it, it doesn't have to be you know if you want a million quid in your bank account fine Manif you know come up with the, with the manifestation that that's what you want uh my 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 will want for today was i wanted to be in a lot better mood and i've achieved that yeah i think manifestation a lot of uh famous people you sort of have talked about manifestation and how mm. they've basically i mean what's that conor mcgregor i saw a video of conor mcgregor the other day saying about when he was little he always wanted to do um he wanted to always do a sport of some yeah. kind and then he came across mma and when he was little he was sort of came from a really sort of average background sometimes not i didn't have much money and all that and then his sister had shown him uh, told him to read a book on the law of attraction but of course his little boy doesn't like reading so he watched a, the fi a film on it and he said from that moment he was going to do some form of law of attraction and manifestation every yep. single day yeah and that was as simple as i remember one of them was that near his house well no, on the back of his house he used to kick a football and pretend there was a goal there and a lot of the times he would miss but that he kept trying and believing that he was going to get a goal and that when he did he would then pretend he had an audience watching him and cheering him on so he yeah. did that for literally every everything and then yeah. he said about how when he was learned how to drive and when he was an adult and he does it now is that he will ask the universe for a parking space wherever he goes yep. ahead of time and that when he gets it he know he will always chalk that down to law of attraction yep and 
uh, it's as simple yeah it's as simple as that and he's he completely believes and says the only reason he's got where he is is not just through hard work but because of the law of attraction and that yeah. he's actually asked for it yeah. so I, I mean i completely believe completely believe him it's it's one of them things where like you said that you wanted to do the chat because you wanted to manifest a good mood and you've done yeah. it it's yeah. it's the step of i want something how can i change it what you know i change the situation i'm in maybe or i want something and it's going to be positive so i'm going to just do it yeah and then yeah. the universe will just the whatever. universe will provide the provide yeah. the solution and the answer for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not someone. Uh, yeah, if you're someone who's goal orientated, fantastic, great. If you like writing down your goals and you like putting in the writing down your step processes and stuff like, that, brilliant, fantastic, have a way. I'm not. Uh, I, I, you know, it, it bores me senseless. Uh, you know, uh, if you got write your goal down uh, and then you know put in place an action plan to do it, and I would just sooner do what you've just said. Uh, this is this is what I want. Uh, ask the universe for it, and then uh, it'll, it, the solution will present itself to you. Uh, yeah, and I, th I think as well in in that way, like you said about people who like to set themselves goals and have a very rigid structure with things mm. that they want to achieve. I think now, I mean, before I used to be a, a person who was a bit similar to that, that have like a set thing of good working through something just logically makes sense whereas now i think that when you work towards something and say you don't get the outcome that you expect i always think well that's happened for a reason because i always think the universe always looks after you even if it doesn't feel like it because what you're going through is happening for a reason yeah partially because of your learning experience mm -hmm. partially because it's just not meant for you sometimes yeah. what you know you for example i wanted to get a job at game over you know just before christmas and i'll get a part-time job and applied everywhere got turned down to everything got the interview at game was a good learning experience in that i did another interview i haven't done interviews for so long and then i didn't get it but in a way that it worked out because i knew i realized that i didn't actually wasn't meant to be because mm. we went into lockdown a blooming week later so it would have been a waste of time anyway but also i'm now doing stuff every day for dare to fly and i wouldn't have had the time to do that otherwise no. So, you know, it's, if people, you know, this whole thing of it's not just manifestation and law of attraction, you can do that. But yeah. at the end of the day, the, the universe will give you what you actually need and what so is meant for It you. seems to be working no matter what then. Yeah, the law it's, of attraction, I, it's still look working. at it. Look at it. I like to look at like some people go through some really bad times. Yeah. Terrible times. And. I know people and you hear people say like that the, the it makes people believe that the world is an awful place and that they have terrible luck with everything and all this yeah. when I think now if something goes wrong or if something happens that is sort of I don't want to say ruined my day or wasn't the out well wasn't the outcome that I expected it's because it's for a reason yeah and it's because life is just one big test. It would be boring if we were all just millionaires oh, sat yeah, about absolutely. doing naff all all day. But, but if it doesn't happen, don't dwell on it. Yeah. Let it go. Understand and accept that you know it didn't happen. Uh, let it go, and then the proper thing that you were looking for will always manifest anyway. It will come to you anyway. Exactly. Uh, What's meant to be and, will be. There's no yeah. such thing as coincidences yeah. and. It, it goes for everything like that you, you know the people that you bump into and come across and there's some people who are really awful people who are just nasty i mean I've come up with a quick one off the top of my head is when i went to school in year 11 
I fell out with my whole friendship group, all of them. And one, it was all because of this one girl who bullied me senseless for months on end. Absolutely. Worst, I was like, it's the worst time of my life. Mm. Um, and it's when I was doing my GCSEs as well, so you can imagine how awful that was. Yeah. Um, when, then, when, then it got to halfway through the year, all of my friends who were friends with her actually realised that she was the one who twisted it all against me and then realized that actually we shouldn't have fallen out with emily she was coincidentally this girl was also called emily so a bit harsh giving emily's putting the name to shame but <laughs> but it's one of them things where at the time it felt like it was a terrible thing that was happening to me yeah, yeah. in the end it all worked out because all my friends turn around and apologize to me and realize what they'd done wrong and as well I became a lot of a stronger person because of it so if so looking back I'm very thankful that I went through that because I knew looking back now that was meant to happen yeah so if you know yeah. people need to just take that sort of view on life as uh, that was supposed to happen because you never know you, you know, some people might miss the bus one day and bump into someone new and make a new friend it's as simple as that you know yeah have you had any sort of experiences where it's all kind of funnily enough i i I too was bullied when i was at school yeah Uh, i don't know if i've told told you i told you a story off camera but uh it was weirdly it was my next door neighbor who i grew up with uh, and back in the day, it wasn't year one, two, three, four, year nine, and so on and so forth. It was primary school, middle school, and upper school. And it was when I finished at primary school and went on to uh, middle school. So I guess whatever year that was, nine or ten or whatever you guys, you know, whatever the, the current thing is. But um, we had to. I had to catch a bus from my village to the middle school, which was three miles away uh, in my local town. Uh, and after about a month or so, my next door neighbor, who was a year older than me, than me so uh, a year above me at, at school, um, he started uh, with, started bullying me and calling me names. And, um, you know, it started, it really took a toll on me because I, when I was a kid, I was a wouldn't say boo to a goose. Um, and, I, and I couldn't understand why what was going on because at the end of each day when we got home he would then knock on the door and say you're coming out to play uh so i had this flip-flop occurring very every single day yeah very conflicting for about three or four months uh and i i eventually clicked on what was going on at school he was hanging around with the hard nuts he was hanging around with the lads uh and so and back in the you know in the 70s early 80s um being in school was a baptism of fire. There was no, there was no mucking about back then. Uh, you know, if if you were, uh, if you pissed off one of the lads, you got a kick in. It was that simple, and that was that was what school was like in my day. Uh, anyway, I figured out that uh, you know he he was um, hanging around with these guys, so he was having to create a bit of a rep uh, and uphold that rep, and he picked me to do it. Um, and I let it go on. Uh, and uh, um, sadly, I said, sadly, it's a wrong choice of words. I don't like using words like that. But I let it go on for a, a, a while. Um, and it got to the point one morning where I, I cracked. And I mean literally cracked. Um, he got on the bus. I was sat at the front, the two or three seats from the front. Uh, and he's done the poking and the degrading and the name calling and so on and so forth. And I don't advise people to do this. Um, or it's your choice. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, but it worked for me. Um, I, I, I cracked because the whole bus was watching. Uh, you know, I was embarrassed. Uh, I was upset. Uh, and I absolutely lost it. And I got up and I walked up the aisle of the bus and I grabbed him by his hair on the side of his head. Uh, and I smacked his head against the, the, the bus window 10 times. Uh, and do you know what? After that, I never had any problems whatsoever, none whatsoever. And that was a learning experience. And all throughout my life, there's been, there's been points where, you know, you might have, I've overstepped the mark. I know I've overstepped the mark. 
uh, and I've pissed someone off uh, and it's an embarrassment or it's, you know, it's caused a lot of problems. And the only way to deal with it is to turn around and go, do you know what? Fuck it. Uh, I apologize. Put your hands up, go and confront it, get in front of the person or, or the problem and say, yeah, this is the problem. This is the issue. I'm here to sort it out. Uh, and the sooner you do that and the quicker you do that, you find out that it wasn't such a big problem in the first place. Uh, and it gets sorted out that much quicker and you can move on with your life because if you don't and you let that hang on, uh, it will pull you down and down and down and down. And that's not what we're here for. That's not yeah. what we're here for. Don't, you know, I would encourage people never to let that happen. But, um, you know, that, that's, that was what school was like in my day. So, uh, you know, and I dealt with it. I dealt with it. Yeah. Um, I think it's part of people sort of, you know, people need to learn how to put themselves first because I think now people sort of forget that. And there's yeah. whole, I mean, there's obviously yeah. put be, others be first. Be selfish. Well. Not, not, in a nasty, not in a nasty way. Not in a nasty way at all. You know, I, yeah, be selfish because you have that right to be selfish. And once you've established that, uh, you know, and you put those steps in place to, to, to get what you want, um, then you go, it's a bit like the general going into war. He has to come to terms with himself that, uh, you know, he's got 50,000 men at his disposal. He's going to send into battle. He is going to lose a percentage of them on the battlefield. And he has to come to, to the terms with the fact that, that is what is going to happen before he can send those men into war. He has to accept that. And I think being selfish, accepting that, uh, and then, you know, will put you in good stead to, to get you where you want to be. Yeah, part of that is, it ties in with law of attraction because... That's it, you've got it, yeah. It's not a case of I've got to step on people to get that. Yeah, it's... it's, of, it's you know, I'm being ask, selfish, but in a good way. Ask for it, but Absolutely. also sort of look out for yourself and in, as you say be selfish because yeah. once it's learning how to say yes and yeah. when to say no because yeah. people have a big thing at the moment of saying yes to everything even yeah. if they don't want to do it yeah um, and, and my mum is a, one of I mean years ago my mum used to be like that and she would just be thought that she had to be nice to everyone yeah all the time and say yes to everything whereas now she will happily if someone asks her to do something or asks her for something a favor or what have you or do you want to go do this do you want to meet up she will happily if she doesn't want to do it just say no and because yeah. she's done that she her, she says she just feels very empowered but also a, tr is a lot more po a lot very positive about life and i think yeah. it's because it's made her more have a positive outlook on life it's attracted a lot of better things to her and people sure. know sure. where to draw the line absolutely sort of look up to her more because of it and want to wish they had that sort of same strength i guess yeah all right, let, let's go there because, uh, you know, at the moment, the vaccination is, is driving everybody nuts. Uh, this vaccination thing. Uh, we and, have to do people, it. We have to go we there. Have to do it, we have to do it, you know, and, and people seem to be absolutely dead set on reinforcing this vaccination thing in their heads. Look, no, you don't. You're not taking the vaccination. You're not going to have it. Fuck it. End of story. Yeah. Let it go. Mm. Because the more you keep talking about it and the more you keep bringing it up the more you reinforce that fear in your head the more you reinforce the fear in other people's heads and we have this ongoing cesspit of round and round bollocks that everybody seems absolutely fucking determined to put themselves into well i am not you are not uh and if that is your way of thinking great let it go don't engage and just fucking forget the whole bloody thing, yeah? Because they can't make you. Yeah. And if they're determined to try and make you, well, then you know what to do. It's the grabbing by the by the hair and beating the head against the window ten times. That's what it, that may well be what it's come to. And that's not something I'm saying that you should do. But if it comes to that, fuck it. 
that's what you're going to do because you're determined that that's not going to be your outcome. You're not going to manifest that. I think in terms of the vaccine thing, I mean, I've been doing videos on the vaccines yeah. recently, but I, th- I feel it's necessary to do so because there's some people who aren't aware of how far or how deep this goes, but mm. reporting the news side of it, so to speak. Mm. But at the same time, I think people, it's important to know what they are doing, but again, think of, rather than focusing too much on it, just be aware of it, and then like you say, let it go, because we need to, information, the world is, the the world thrives on information, we thrive on information Mm. as humans, but we don't need to there's a point where our feelings get too too far in the way. Trying they to do this. get too far in the way. Um, all the way through this, it's been, I've carried on my life exactly as it was before all this kicked off. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's normal to have a wobble to everyone. And we're not saying Absolutely. you can't get no, upset no, 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 about no. it. If you no. get upset, I mean, when I, some of the things I read about what they're doing with the vaccines and, you know, this and that and all especially into like looking at election fraud as well that gets me really raged and riled up but and that's normal because it's normal to be frustrated i think the 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 reason people get so upset and frustrated is not just fear but also because they can't control the situation themselves a lot of these people we see on twitter who get upset about it uh, they have good intentions because they know it's bad and they want to change that situation for everyone else who mm. maybe doesn't know what's going on. And I think it's the, f- the, the people get so upset and worked up over it at the moment with vaccines touching on that mm. is people feel so powerless as that they feel that they can't do anything to change it. And it's, it's a whole control <laughs> thing essentially because yeah. If me and you, because me and you know what's going on and what yeah. they're doing, if we could change everything in a, you know, in an instant and make everything wonderful and full of love and light, we would do that. I mean, I know for a second if I was given the option right this second to do that, I would do it. But I can't, mm-hmm. and it is annoying. Even I think it's annoying that, you know, I wish I could change the world for everyone and make it a better place, but I can't. I just, no one can, but unless we that, do it that, together. But that, 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 that in itself, is that's, that's what I'm trying to drive at, is that, um, yes, you can. Well, as, as, as in, as, as, as in you this, ask for in it, you second, put that in place, yes, you can. As in, in a split second, I could not I get what rid you mean. of yes. yeah, yeah, physically, of course. Yeah, no. yeah. physically the whole vaccine thing, if I could take away all vaccines and make all this go away, and I think every, that's the reason why people get so upset, I think, is they wish they had some sort of control and power within a yeah. split second to change everything around, to expose everything in an instant, like yeah. in a second. And if Just have some comfort, world, people, that this is on the way. This yeah, coming, it's, and, and, I, and I think that's part of why people get so upset about it. Yeah, But I think... Things, good things are coming. Like you said, you can make a difference simply by putting out the positive energy and asking things to change and sure. just being positive about things. Even though you're not, you can't go in and, you know, I was listening to the um, news this morning, BBC News, just for a daily update while I was doing the washing up. And they were saying about the vaccines were in a hidden location. My first thing was, God, I wish I could find that location and destroy it all. That was my first thought. So I think everyone's sort of thinking the same thing. But yeah, with the whole vaccine thing, rather than getting so upset about it, yeah, you can't change the situation right now physically in this world. You can just forget about it because... Mm. One, that's that's not even out yet. They're not even you've not. Someone's not knocks on your door and said you're having a vaccine. Yeah, if if they're in a hidden, if they're in a hidden location, my immediate thought process is: Well, why are they in a hidden location? And then I'm going to ask questions. 
behind that? Why are they in a hidden location? If they're in a hidden location, what so why do they have to hide them? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, because again, it it's it's just knowing a bit, it, I could be completely wrong. Because but I'm asking the question, why are they in a hidden location? Uh why is uh, the Right Honourable Grant Schatz appearing on Twitter saying for um, the rich and the famous, flights will be opened back up again? For elite sports, signed sports personnel, persons, um, they will be able to travel again. Why is this being done? Why is this being done? I mean, first, the would say is half of them have probably been arrested and gone off. Well, some... the, this, this is the thing. You know, so I'm asking the question, as, uh, uh, ask, my, my question line of question is, um, not to turn around and say you're a wanker. You, you know, this is this one rule for one and one for rule for another. Is my question is 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 this guy trying to wake you up? Is this guy saying this to kick you up the backside to say we're trying to help you out here? Is that what I could be completely wrong? I could be completely wrong, but that's yeah. the way I'm kind of looking at things and seeing things. What would because your Sort of, what would your, because we, we have to go there with vaccines, what would your sort of overall advice be to people with getting so worked up on vaccines? If you're getting worked up about the vaccine, um, it, it, my, my advice, encouragement would be to uh, understand what has been put in place uh, and what is going on uh, and look a lot further. I've put some resources out on Twitter uh, to help people understand. Uh, uh, Martin Gadez, uh, the brilliant Martin Gadez, if you're not following him on Twitter, follow him and go and read his essays that he's put together on a certain, certain letter that appears in the alphabet that we all know about. Um, uh, go and read those. There's a couple of books that I've put out. I think you've got one, haven't you? Is it The Great um, Awakening? or? Yeah, the one by David Hayes. I've got that yeah. one. Yeah, The Calm Before the Storm and The Great Awakening by Dave Hayes, who is praying medic. Uh, you know, go and, go, go and look at that. And, uh, and that will give you a heads up as to what's being put in place, what has been going on and is currently going on. Uh, I will say, if the man with... Um, gold hair and orange skin doesn't win, it's going to go the way that I've been posting this morning on Twitter anyway, because it is the only way to go. This is military. This is a military operation, uh, and it is to take out these assholes that have been controlling us for these hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, because their time has come to an end. That's not saying he won't win, he already has won. He has won. He's going to win. He will be uh, appearing. Uh, but, but again, it's, it's understanding all these little clues and all these little bits of information that are, that, are, that are out there for you to go and look at. If you haven't read the book, The Last President by um, Ingersoll Lockwood, I, can't, I, I would advise that you go and download that and read that because that will give you an idea of what is going on as well. It's not easy to read because it was written in 1899. Um, so it's quite difficult to read because of, because of the way it's written and the words that are used. But go and read that. That will give you an understanding of what's going on as well. Um, yeah. Because what's being taken down is, is this structure that has ruled us for a long period of time. Uh, and it's, had to, it's got to be done this way. Uh, there, are, you know, there are 300 uh, naval vessels in the U.S. Navy a hundred of which, including two aircraft carriers, are parked in the South China Sea at this very moment in time. And there is a specific reason why, why they are there. Uh, and, and, and again, I won't go any further. That's for you, to go, you guys to go and find out. Uh, but just know that, you know, when they say trust the plan, it's in hand and good stuff is coming. It's just helping you do it. It was going to be enacted 19 years ago and a certain event occurred that stopped it then you know yeah. it was a world event it happened in september i'll go no further again go and look into it understand why so uh 
you know, this morning is about manifestation. Uh, we're talking about manifesting things you want. Know that these things are in place. Know that good is coming and put your thoughts into that, that process and that direction. Yeah. Because when you do that, the universe responds. It's, uh, uh, you've heard that we've discussed the hundred monkey effect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's it's that sort of thing. If people don't know what that is, go and look up the hundred monkeys experiment and find out what that was about. Um, put those thoughts in place. Think of those because once everybody starts to do it, it happens. It happens. It has to happen because there's no other. Because that's the way the universe responds. So if you're if you're worried and you're concerned about the vaccines, knowledge is power. Once you have the knowledge and you understand what's going on, yeah, that will help you to to change your thinking and your heart, change it, you know, change from the heart and change your thinking, and that will help you. I hope it will help you. That's yeah. probably the wrong word to use. So I don't like using hope, but uh, you know, you knowledge know. is power. You know it will help you. You know it will happen. Absolutely, you know yeah. it will happen. Yeah, I think. Yeah the the you like you said the just take you it take responsibility so yeah take it all into your own hands and yeah take do, responsibility because at the end of the day everyone has free will yep if you want to be upset that is your choice mm. but just know that that can be changed um and i mean when we talk about law of attraction and the universe always provides Mm -hmm. I do still think there is a point where the universe will only provide if you take some responsibility to make a change. You know, the, I think the, that's, I think that's, yeah, I think that's a great thing to say. I think if, you know, look at it in terms of, in terms of me, my, a few weeks ago, I had a thought of how can I improve what I'm doing? I want to do dare to fly full time. Taking it in terms of a physical world example, I want to do that full time. I want because I love it that much. What can I do to get there? Because it's only the universe will only give me so much and then the rest is in my hands. The universe yeah. isn't <laughs> sat sat next to me. Sorry, what was you gonna say? No, 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 no. So I'm so sorry I keep interrupting you, but you hit the nail right on the head, okay? You asked the question. You didn't ask somebody else the question. Yeah. What's going on? You asked yourself the question, yeah? And then once you've done that, you've asked yourself the question because I get so much on Twitter. Um, so what's happening? What's going on? What's happening? Look, ask I've given yourself. you a prompt. Yeah, I'm giving you a prompt here. Don't ask me. Well, you've now you've now go and do some digging. I can only give you so much, and so can M. So can anybody. You only give you so much, um, because that's what we've always done. That's how they've had this control for such a long time. We've passed that responsibility from ourselves to them to provide us for the answers. I mean, what kicked it off for me is we're going to be talk, interviewing some guys from the Human Unleashed team uh, as we as we go on. Um, uh, Couple, couple of guys, there's four guys, Jeremy Ayers, Phil Escott, Ben Hunt, and, uh, and um, Graham Norbury. Um, you know, I, I, the, they, they put a, videos, a series of 20 videos together in relation to what's gone on for the last nine months. The first one I watched, they, talk about, they talked about a certain set of videos, 10-part series. I won't name it. If you don't know what it is, um, you know, we might list it in the link below or something like that. But um, a 10-part series of videos telling the world what's been going on with them uh and it was discussed and mentioned and i didn't put in the questions underneath what's this about where do i go find it what's this what's that what's this i heard it mentioned and i asked myself the question what i asked myself the question or well, what's that all about then i went and found it for myself i didn't ask somebody else to to provide me with the link. I've done it, done that on occasion, very rarely, because I've, I've tried to look and I can't find it and it might be that they've got, got a link and, and I just can't, can't find it. But, um, you know, they discussed it, but I was guided to watch that video. And that information was going to come to me because I was asking myself the question, I was looking. I'd, I'd read an article by the brilliant Dr. Zoe Harkham, uh, PhD in nutrition and public health, who I follow. 
Uh, and she wrote an article back at the beginning of this, when all this kicked off, about how the numbers didn't stack up uh, with regard to, you know, the, the rotor. Uh, and um, I read the article and then immediately went and did some investigation myself. And I completely agree with her. It, numbers didn't stack up. The data wasn't stacking up. I couldn't make it fit. Uh, and that led me, that put me on the path then of uh, looking and digging and finding. And everything that is, because that's what I wanted to manifest, that's what's appeared before mm. me every single time for the last nine months. Yeah. I think you know, you and I getting together. Yeah, and that this. happened for a reason. Yeah. And yeah. Absolutely it did. Absolutely it did. I think, yeah, I asked myself that question, getting back to that is, I asked myself that question of, well, what can I do? Because before I was, I would say, always sort of say to my dad and my mum, can we sit down and I'm not sure what to do. Do you have any ideas and all this? And it was, it's, it's like, we can only have that discussion so many times until we yeah. just say the same things. So yeah. I mean, one day it was, I think it was around sort of Halloween. I just sort of thought, well, what can I do to get mm. where I want to be? And then I sort of realized, well, actually, if I want to get where I want to be, I have to just keep doing what I'm doing, but harder and in more and just keep going. So then rather than doing a one video a week, I do five. Yeah. So, so it's every single day. Yeah. And then as soon as I started doing that, the universe just started giving and I noticed everything improved drastically. Yeah. And I said to my dad, we get to the weekend. The first week, I was absolutely knackered. I was like, "Right, I'm not. I'm just going to bed. <laughs> See you guys." <laughs> but then after that, I was like, "Well, it's working. It's what I want to be doing. If I want to get there, the universe isn't going to hold my hand and pat me on the no. back and say everything's no. going to be fine. I'll give you it, you know, on a no, platter." But, but the universe but, will provide the right people and the right tools and the right situations to yeah. appear so that, that run alongside you and with yeah. You. It's, it's one of the things where the universe, if, if you start asking questions about any situation and you start asking yourself and you have that moment of realisation of, actually, what can I do differently? The, I, was, I think the universe is just waiting for you to ask that question because then it knows that you're then going to start trying to figure out a way to change it and improve it and better it and then es essentially have a more positive outlook on it and then when yeah. you start doing that the universe can just reward you for essentially hard work because nothing's you know as my dad likes to always say every other day Rome wasn't built in a day and it's it's true so good good things aren't just made overnight and no. i think people need to realize that accept it with open arms because that's a learning not on, journey not on itself. this not on this realm anyway yeah exactly Maybe when, yeah. We, when we get into the spirit world we can do it with the blink of an eye with a thought yeah <laughs> we'll, have earned, we'll have earned it then though we'll yeah, have earned absolutely. it then so absolutely. Yeah. but yeah if people like you said you need to start asking yourself the questions because once you do that, you get out of, I think when people start questioning things themselves, as in asking themselves a question, they've got to that point where they've just realized, what am I doing? Yeah. And it's often in a negative situation, I think, because you get to that point of, what can I do? What am yeah. I doing? What's going on? And then at that point, things take will just naturally change because you've got no other choice but to change it yeah but again it's what you need and yeah. the universe I mean, knows it, what you need it, it feels like a bit we're going because we've, we've discussed this in basically in the last two videos and it might seem like we're going over old, over, old, over old ground a little bit but um the reason for that is because this is what you've got to do this is how yeah. you do it trust yourself as well trust love yourself trust yourself that's the thing i've had to learn to do that's the thing i've had to to, to get my head around big time is is loving yourself yeah and i think yeah. to, touching on that is that we've been so programmed and ingrained 
I mean, especially social media. Yeah. That you've got to be a certain way to be able to love yourself. You've got yeah. to. I mean, you see all these blooming models with fake boobs and you know, fake lips and these blooming squishy plastic bags in, shoved in the bum to make them look ridiculous and you know all that sort of stuff yeah, you have yeah, to have yeah, fake, yeah. fake tan and all this thing yeah and they sort of make out that to be able to love yourself and sort of have the right to love yourself you have to be on some fo- level of what they would call perfection in a yeah. way and if you yeah. don't have that standard then you need to build to it and un- unless you build to it then it's seen as well you're not putting in the effort and you that that until you reach that you can't love yourself because Mm. you're not seen as perfect in other people's eyes this whole thing you've got to look good for everyone else when it's i mean that's that's the that's why the world is so negative in a way to some people they have such a negative outlook is because especially young people they just think that you have to look a certain way you have to be a certain way very materialistic and look absolutely ridiculously fake to one be loved by everyone else and then secondly uh, love yourself when it's completely the other way around it's love yourself then love everyone else because Mm. you can't love other people if you don't know how to love yourself because at that point i've learned love it i used to be so insecure when i was younger ridiculously think how to be a certain way and dress a certain way and do certain things whereas now i couldn't couldn't give a rat's ass what i do because i just think you know as people have said to me um that when I was younger, especially that I dress like a boy or I even someone said, you sound like a boy, you do this like a boy, you all that sort of thing. And in my eyes now, now my mum always says, why don't you go buy some nice clothes, you know, something nice and all this. I said, mum, I don't dress to look good. I dress for comfort. That's my outlook on life. If I'm comfy, I couldn't care less if I look like a clown. If I, yeah. if a clown costume was comfy in my eyes, I would wear it because yeah. you know what I mean. It's it's life is too short to care yeah. what yeah. other people think and also yeah. focus on these things. We wasn't put on this mm-hmm. earth to dress in mini skirts and have thongs, you know, stuck up our butt cheek between our butt cheeks all day and being incredible pain doing so well, it, it, yeah it, you know yeah, i mean it, it's, it's like we're here to to learn and we're here to actually and i think one of them biggest lessons is how to love yourself and how yeah. to love others so yeah. people need it's to start the, realizing it's the general that. it's the general commanding fifty thousand men to send into battle you have to come to terms with yeah the fact that you know some of them are not going to make it and it, 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 you know, he, he's got to come to terms with that in himself before he can allow that to happen. Yeah. And it's the same. It's the same with loving yourself. You have to lo- before you can love others, uh, you know, and, and and truly benefit others. You have to benefit yourself, love yourself, and trust yourself beforehand. And then once you once you get that in place, it doesn't have to be one hundred percent. Just you know, for a long time, I had a, an issue with people would turn and say, "Thank you very much." Oh, you're very good at what you do, and I would, go, "Oh no, 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 don't, don't, you know, can't pass, accept don't compliment. Pass, yeah, don't pass me a fucking compliment. I don't, you know, that's no, 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 no. Now, when somebody turns around and says, "Oh, mate, you're, you're, you're you, thank you so much. You helped me really. Hi, oh, no problem. You're welcome. Thank you." Yeah, I, I just accept it straight away. Because they're being genuine, and by you, you know, it, it, in my opinion, by you turning around and rebuffing that because you don't like taking compliments, maybe a bit of an insult to them, and and they're, they're, you know them being genuine towards you. So accept it, understand it, because they, you know, and, and that way you're learning to trust yourself and love yourself. Yeah, and I, I that's think just w- my that's just my. Yeah. Of course, bear in mind for everybody watching this, this is just our opinion. It's not rock yeah. solid. It's entirely up to you. 
it's not you know bible gospel or no, whatever of course it's not. just our it's thoughts two mates but, having a yap like yeah. we've done so far i think loving yourself and all that thing ties in with sort of law of attraction and manifestation very sure. nicely because yeah. once you if you don't love yourself you have putting out negative thoughts and you're being you know your body reacts to that not just mentally but physically as well yeah what's going yeah. on inside is going to yep. react to you saying nasty stuff about yourself absolutely. you look in the yeah, mirror you're, right. and you're, you're absolutely right you know if you're if you're thinking in a in a positive way if you like then you know your body your body will react biochemically definitely it will if you are stressed and you, you i've rattled on about this in in the last few videos uh last few videos we've got two more but um two previous ones but i've rattled on about this if you are stressed your body reacts accordingly and your body has to metabolize that stress and deal with that stress uh and it can react in a derogatory fashion which later on down the line can lead you to really bad health that's not a place you want to go to I've seen too many people and, and I had the pleasure uh, of helping uh, many people to turn that around as well. Um, so don't, don't let it go that way. Yeah. You know, I know there's a lot of stress about at the moment. And but, um, loving you, once you start loving yourself, trusting yourself, like you said, which I think is yeah. incredibly important, yeah. the universe will look after you and you'll sort of have that feeling of no matter what, I'll always mm. be all right because... I'm being watched over, not just by the universe, but by everyone else, all our loved ones on the other side too. They've always yeah. got your back. Yeah. And they've always put stuff in place so that it is all right, that everything does work out, even if it feels like it doesn't. And I think another thing I'd like to add is touching on sort of what we discussed last time, but sort of furthering it in terms of a spiritual sense. If people who want to go down an awakening path and awakening journey progress spiritually you can't really i think you can't fully do it to your best efforts and your greatest potential if you can't love yourself because you just start closing yourself off really and mm. once you start um loving yourself trusting yourself and listening to yourself you'll open up a many, many doors. Yes. And it'll be wonderful. I completely agree. I absolutely agree with that. Completely agree. So is that it? We're done for the day now then. <laughs> 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 now we've put the world to rights. We've told everybody what they need to do. Uh, no, we haven't. We haven't really. But um, I hope we haven't. I agree with what eyes. Em's just said. I agree with what Em's just said, people. You know, don't, don't, don't. This is a, Situ the situation current situation love yourself okay uh, and the more you do that the more that affects other people uh yeah. and the more and if, the if, other people do it and the more it spread and, the and if there's spread. some people watching this because i know there will be who will think when we say love yourself and they'll either think well everyone says that or they'll sort of think subconsciously or even in their mind might start thinking about things they wish they could improve about themselves and all that. Just well, let just a little bit of inspir inspirational moment of you are the one person in the world who is you. There is no one else who has been born on this earth. Unless you are on a physical level, unless you are an identical twin, physically there is someone like you. Mm. in a way you know body wise but personality wise and spirit wise there is literally no one else like you on this world you you was made if you want to look at it in god's eyes or the creator's image you was made and molded from your own personal mold that was made for a reason you're here for a reason Everyone has their own reason to be here. Some people aren't aware of what that reason is. Yeah, I have no, still have no idea. I mean, you mm. probably have no idea. We're all figuring it out, and that's the wonderful thing. So just think, you're the only person on this earth who is you. 
you're the only person who really looks like you on this earth. You know, all the flaws that you have, you turn it around and think, in a way, them flaws make you who you are. You know, I I have plenty of things wrong with me. I mean, I've got a lazy eye. I've got scars all over my body from stuff I've done when I was little and made a right, you know, to do with myself. And, in, you know, injuries and all that, they all essentially tell a story of something you've done. No one else has that except you. So that's another thing. And so Mary, just think of... Honor. Yeah, exactly. So just think of all the awesome things that you do every single day. And my mum always says something very wise to me if I ever feel down about anything in myself. She always says, firstly, she says, you know, you're the only person who is you. And she always reminds me of that every day and reminds herself of that. But also, if, if you are struggling some days, and struggling to love yourself or struggling with the world and external things, don't focus on the future. Don't focus on it. Focus on getting to the end of the day because once you've done that, that's an achievement in itself because you can then say, I lived another day on earth. Fabulous. Yeah. I can't add to that. Yeah. I don't want I just to think, that. I tell you something we're all spiritual beings so if you can't love that then i can't help you because yeah. i think that is the greatest thing ever knowing yeah. inside this fleshy body is I, I mean i'd like to think it's like a, just a glowing ball of some yeah yeah I, I, inside that's, that's, me. That's, yeah yeah i i you know the, uh, the 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 comfort i take is that you know no matter what happens okay um this is but a temporary stop on the way it's yeah. that simple for me now you know that's what i've come to understand that's what i've come to learn that's what i'll believe and yeah. i'll hold on to that and just this, think is, this is my temporary stop uh and so you know whatever the outcome is going to be i'm off for the next part of the adventure once i yeah. once i'm gone from here just over. just think that to everyone watching just think that this world that we live in is just a lesson it's a test it's like a matrix and we're here for a reason and except once you start accepting that you actually enjoy it more yeah because you enjoy I, the challenges i want to know how ancient i am i'd like to know that maybe you could ask for me in the next uh, yes i can yeah? ask i, I, I would tonight like or tomorrow i would like night. to how long how, how what what number reincarnation is this uh if you know if if, if uh, whatever how ancient am i where have i been but that's what i'd love to know i would yeah. love to know that uh, i'm worried about the future because i'm you know i'm just happy that i'm going to be moving on uh for a good future anyway so, I, that's uh, the one thing i always hold on to is you know some days you feel a bit down or a bit stressed or you think oh life is a some days are challenging and whatever just I always hold on to knowing that actually, whilst this is technically home, it's not our home home. We've no. got a place to go on to, and once we get yeah. there, it's, it's not the be... it's not the only place. Yeah, it's and it's one. it's one of the things that you say. I'm not. I now I'm not scared of dying. No, 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 no. But I'm excited to, you know, accept that once my time does come in a very long time years and years away when i'm old that when my day does come it will be i will be excited in a way and not again not saying that i'm excited that i want to die that no, 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 i'm no. saying that i i just know that there's something there that is that is wonderful magical and full of everything that we've been talking about for God knows how long. So, mm. Well, best you get the next circle. Get your dad off his yes, backside. He's got the afternoon yes, off, hasn't he? Get he a has. circle going. I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. I was so excited on Wednesday. I said, come on, we can do it. We can do it. And then yeah, yeah. You're going to the gym this off. afternoon, aren't you? I am indeed. You are. 
Okay. What are you doing this afternoon? I'm impatient. I'm going to say, no, don't go to the gym. Just do circle instead so that I can find out. I'm being <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. I'm glad we did this. Yeah, I'll, I'd it's, like... It's, 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 you know. Yeah, I'd like to... Before we start signing off, um, saying okay. our goodbyes, I thought I'd say that if people do want to celebrate... Well, God. God, I've said celebrate, then I was getting all excited about Celebrate's a good word. Celebrate. If yeah. you want to help support the channel and this podcast, remember to subscribe. Um, give this video a like. Share it on Twitter or wherever you are. Share it with mm. others. Share the positivity. Uh, leave us some comments about what you think about law of attraction and things we've talked about or your experiences with it. If you do want to get in touch with us and follow us further, you can follow me at deadfly777 on Twitter. You're at Who's Afeard on Twitter as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm also at Who's Afeard on Parlour and Gab. But I'm not active in any way, shape or form at the moment for obvious reasons, uh, uh, which is why I am on Twitter. But if that, if that gets, uh, goes by the way that uh, you know, most people are saying it's going to go, then that's where you'll find me, Parlour yeah. and Gab. Uh, yeah. And you can go and follow me there as well. And if you want to come and join us on the podcast and come and chat to us, which we really want you to do, then Please just do. get in touch with us there. And I'll also drop my email address down below if people want to yeah. message there. Or you can leave a comment on the video even. Just yeah. get our DMs we're not, are open. And We're not you. looking for experts. We're not looking for, you know, professionals. We're not looking for anything like that. Although we're going to get some people on with relation to that for, for health and stuff like that. But, you know, just just people like you and me. Yeah. Who want to come and have a chat and a, and a bit of fun and a laugh and a joke. Yeah. Any closing messages? Uh, <laughs> 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 Any closing messages? I'll close with what I always say. Much love to everyone. Yeah. Much My love. closing message would be hope you have a wonderful blessed day wherever you are in the world stay true stay awake stay blessed remember to love yourself and ask the universe for what you want and you will get it keep manifesting guys the positive as you vibes think, so shall you be yes and as always fly high fearless <laughs>